Hey guys, Sai is here back with another interesting and most important video and today in this video I am going to talk about latest Magisk version 29.0 stable update. So in this video I am going to talk about what is that major change logs of Magisk 29.0. Okay, so here it is we have a six major change logs. So I will explain one by one. Also I will tell you how can you update your old Magisk version 2, latest Magisk version 29.0. Okay, so let's begin the process without any wasting of time. So first of all, uh, I came on Magisk site. Here it is the Magisk latest version 29.0. So as we can see here, it is the official Magisk site. And this is the 29.0 latest update. And as we can see here, it is so now the uh, language is a little bit upgrade as we can see. Okay, so the must uh, the first major change log is upgradation of code. That means now the magis perform better than old one little bit faster as compared to old magis version. Okay, this is the first major change log talking about second major change log support support download module zip files with XZ compression. Now the question is what is XZ compression? XZ compression is a format of compression type. For example, one of the developer create any module. Okay, one the developer create one module which has uh, maybe which uh, which have 10 MB of module. Okay, so uh, he create one module. The module size is 10 MB, and he use he use compression type any he use any compression type except XZ compression type, and the size of that module is 10 MB. But talking about same compression, if we done on XZ compression format, the module size will be reduced. Okay, maybe the module size is 7 MB, 5 MB, 8 MB. Why? Because the XZ compression take less size, less memory, but the content which is present on that module is exactly same on XZ compression format or any other compression format. Okay, the, the entire content is same on, same on that module, but talking about when we done compression in XZ, the memory size will be reduced. The module size will be reduced. Okay. So now from now the XZ compression modules also support on Magis 29.0. This is the major change log. Now talking about third major change log, disable app animations when system animation are disabled. Okay. I think you understand what is this. Okay. If you turn off system animation from settings or uh, from ROM settings, if you are using custom ROM or uh, stock MIUI or whatever ROM you have using. So on that ROM, if you turn off uh, system animation, the app animation also disabled. So this is the third major change log. Now talking about fourth major change log support system lessly deleting files with modules using blank file nodes. Now what is the mean of this? What is the means of blank file nodes? Okay, for example, I will explain you. For example, if you delete any blotware application, okay, if you delete any uh, blotware application, which you don't want on your device. So what happened, your device gonna boot loop when that application is very important for system, right? So now from now, 20, uh, Magis 29.0 from now, what happened if you delete any system file, which is very important for system, right? So Magis create blank file node. That means Magis create any blank file node. The that blank file node means he uh, Magis create any file, empty file, not any full, uh, not any code on that file. Just he just Magis create empty file, and the file is replaced, which the file is deleted by you. For example, if you delete any uh, blotware app. So that file is replaced the deleted file, the file is deleted, but on that place, the empty node file is created. So what happened? Uh, our device not gone on boot loop. Okay, so this is very important. So this is the example. Okay, now talking about next major change log, which is redesign C policy patching and injection logic. Okay. Nowadays, our Android system is going to secure highly secured new rules is gaming new android rules is gaming now the android 16 is also gaming right so i mean gamed right <laughs> so new rules is gaming c policy rules is changed so from now from 29.0 version the rules uh, the magisk is also follow the latest c policy rules and it it will give it will give you root access that's it nothing more okay 
that means if any rules is came match is follow that rules and provide root access provide us root access okay so this is the major change log talking about next and final late last change log which is better tty pty support so what this does mean okay are you using terminal based apps or modules um if you are using any terminal based or modules so we need root access on terminal right you need to give su permission on terminal so this TTY PTY means the uh, output on terminal you will get smooth output that means you will uh, the tools which is based on uh, termux or any terminal based apps or tools works on smoothly on terminal okay means less errors you you can you no need to face any errors or glitches or you can face very less glitches very less errors okay that means the output will be improved which sub, which which based on terminal based apps or tools okay i think now talking about how to update your magisk from old version if you are using any old version magisk so how can you update to latest version simple when you open magisk okay one important must point the most important point is you need to enable the uh, your internet you need to give the internet access to the de your device okay after that open your magisk app and after that you can see here it is the update option is came okay simply click on this update enable this okay just go back and again click on this update and here it is the uh, change logs is mentioned here click on install okay after click on install we need to wait some seconds if your internet connection is too much faster though then it will done fastly okay as we can see the process is done now again i am going to open the magisk and as we can see our magisk application is updated 29.0 but we need to now update manager manager so click on update then click on direct install click on let's go now the up latest updated version is flashed as we can see here it is the done is came as we can see done is came if the done option is not coming if you face any failed then you need to freshly root your device with uh, this latest magis 29.0 that means you need you need to uninstall your magis fully uninstall unroot your device after the art you are good to go to update with latest 29.0 if you facing any issue which issue if you facing any issue when you going to update your manager okay so now the apply, my application is automatically closed now i reopen my application and now it say require additional setup so i'm going to click on okay and we need to click on direct install click on let's go and as we can see then 29.0 is flashing okay when here it is as we can see the done option is came all done now i'm going to click on reboot in in your device in your phone if the done option is not coming you need to reroute your device with latest magis but note that you need to uninstall old magis okay so how can you uninstall your old magis simply open the magis application you can see uninst uh, uninstall magis that red button then click on uninstall magis red button and after that magis ask you you need to complete uninstall then click on complete uninstall after that your device rebooted and the magis key is removed your root access is removed then you need to re root your device with latest magis 29.0 you can root your device latest magis 29.0 with uh, twrp or any custom recovery method simply you need to flash that from custom recovery or you can use patch method okay so if you want if you want to know how to root your device if you new you are newbie then you can follow my videos to root your device so simply check out videos on our channel okay my device is turned on i unlocked my device let's see the device is successfully updated or not i mean not a device our magis cap okay so okay as we can see here it is 29.0 29.0 the magis is successfully updated without any boot loop issues